Today we're going to be talking about a DC UPS from Siemens as well as how to hook it up to a device like you're at Siemens IPC, how to configure it, and then how to have it do its graceful shutdown. So with that, let's take a look at it. As you can see here, this is a typical setup. We have a 5 amp power supply, our DC UPS, and then we have our Siemens IPC. So we'll take a closer look here. So there's our 5 amp power supply, 24 volt. It is hooked up to our Siemens DC UPS, which is then hooked up to our Siemens IPC. We also have a USB cable going from the UPS into our IPC to be able to get our information on our IPC. So we'll open up our software. So this is the software on our IPC that is set up by our UPS. So within this, we've got kind of the name of the device that's connected. We see here we have a 15 amp, five kilowatt UPS. We've got our indication lights that are on the UPS itself, if we were to look at them right here. We can see those on our screen, as well as we can go through our configuration and we can make some changes. So in here, we are telling it it's connected via USB, but we can also go in and make some changes here. And so you'll see I have this set at a two minute PC shutdown time. So we'll come back to that in just a second. So if I were to go ahead and I'll kill power to my UPS. We'll now see that my five amp power supply is off. My UPS is signaled that it's on battery and the battery is greater than 85% charged. So I'll go up here to my screen and you'll see here, I've got, it tells me right here that I'm on battery, I'm buffered. And you'll see here, it shows that I'm on battery and my charging is complete. So now my battery is depleted greater than 85% or less than 85% rather. So now you'll see that light went out and I'm just buffering. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my UPS back on. So I just put power back on my 5 amp power supply, which then put power back to my UPS and you'll see that my screen is now updated. So it says input voltage okay. Uh, I'm receiving serial information still and it's now charging my battery. So now I'm gonna go into my settings and I'm gonna change the configuration settings here. So one of the great things about this UPS and software is I can set my settings on here to make it so that if I have, if I lose power, I can gracefully shut down my system and this software will actually do that for you. So I'm going to change this to just 10 seconds so that way we can get a preview of what will happen. So we'll go ahead and hit save. You can also go through and hit start application and that gives you the tooltip that after a certain amount of time you can start an application on your computer that can do things like save information or shut down remote sessions, things like that. So let's hit save. So I've now changed it to just 10 seconds. It's gonna update. Okay, so I've changed my settings to 10 seconds from two minutes. I'm now gonna go down here and you can see right there, it says DC okay on my power supply. I'm gonna kill the breaker. That's off. I'm on battery. And then we're gonna wait that 10 seconds. And then my Siemens IPC should start automatically shutting down. So you'll notice that on the screen, everything changed and there we go. So now it's saying that it's gone ahead and it's shutting down. So with that, that tool is pretty powerful. It allows you to save any work that you're having. It, you know, if you know that you're working on your computer and all of a sudden you have a power outage, you can go in there and quickly save your program, save any data that you're working on, save your recipe, things like that. Uh, it also allows you to gracefully shut down so that you don't have any of the issues that you might have if you commonly, you know, if you accidentally lose power or shut down your computer in the middle of something, it could corrupt your data, things like that. So with this Siemens UPS and software, it allows you to gracefully shut everything down and save all of your work. Thanks. Have a good day.